Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I thought that I would tell you guys a story about sleep paralysis. If you guys don't know what sleep paralysis is, well, the scientific term is basically when a person passes between stages of wakefulness and sleep. During these transitions, you may be unable to move or speak for a few seconds up to a few minutes. It says some people may also feel pressure or a sense of choking. It says when the brain and body aren't quite on the same page when it comes to sleep. And then there's another term, which is the culture and society term, which is the night hag. It says the night hag is a generic name for a fantastic feature from the folklore of various peoples, which is used to explain the phenomenon of sleep paralysis. It says a common description is that a person feels a presence of the supernatural malevolence. I think that's how you say the word. It says being which immobilizes the person as if sitting on his or her chest. It says various cultures have various names for this phenomenon and or supernatural character. So the reason to why I decided to make a video due to sleep paralysis is because I have had three sleep paralysis in the past three years. The first one that I had was probably in 2011 and it was due to the fact that I was really creeped out because I had just seen the movie The Exorcism um, and they had special bonus features and my boyfriend at the time made fun of me saying that he was going to watch one of the special features that actually showed you a real life um, exorcist being done. But before having to see the video, you had to recite a prayer because if you didn't recite the prayer, most likely the chances were that you were going to have those zing come to you and mess with you. And I asked him, I begged him, please don't watch it. Like even when I'm gone, please don't watch it because what if like something happens to you? I don't want to be dating like this really possessed dude. So he still like tried to make me feel bad. He says, even when you're gone, I'm going to watch it. So that night I was really like creeped up, really scared that he was actually watching it. And so it took me a long time to go to sleep that night. So when I finally did go to sleep, I fell asleep on my side. Probably hours passed until like my vision, my dreams started to go black. And in the center of the of my dream, I saw a little image start to grow. It started becoming more vivid of what it actually really was. And when it came up to like its big size, I actually saw what it was. It was actually the face of the first exorcist girl the ones that she's cut up and just nasty it was her face and when that happened my body locked my body locked and my body started turning like it started <sighs> I'm so scared I'm telling the story and I'm home alone okay my body started um rocking back and forth back and forth back and forth and I'm paralyzed I, I can't do that and as that happened, I felt like this heat. Um, dude, I'm so scared right now. I felt the heat going up and down, head to toe, head to toe, head to toe. And I was so scared. I did not open my eyes. I did not want to open my eyes. I don't know how long this went on for. Um, it probably was probably for like a minute. But I was scared shitless. The second time this happened was last year at the very end of 2014. Um, or probably in August. In August. Um, and I don't think I watched anything scary. Um, so in my dream, I was in a house, a really nice house, and it had a lot of like light bulbs and really like those nice lighting coming down. And the house had plywood floor. And I was walking around trying to find somebody. The house was really empty, by the way. And I was trying to find somebody to talk to, but I couldn't find anybody. I remember I opened this door, and when I opened the door, it was really pitch black in there. And I guess I was going to walk in there, but as soon as I took my first step, um, something pulled me back. Like, it pulled me back, and I can see myself in the dream. I can see my body falling to the ceiling, falling onto my bed, into the room, into the bed that I was sleeping on. Okay, like, I felt myself go through the ceiling and felt my body fall onto the mattress that I was sleeping on. When my body and my dream touched the mattress, like, and I bounced off the mattress in my dream, I actually felt my body go down when my body touched the mattress in my dream. So, like, I felt someone push me into my mattress in real life. 
and I kept my eyes closed. I closed my eyes. I did not open my eyes because I'm never going to wake uh, open my eyes in a sleep process. I'm just like, what if I see something I don't want to see, you know? What if this is actually not something scientific, but it's actually something that's really spiritual, you know? Like, I don't want to find that out. So, I felt pressure on my chest, and I had my face covered with my blanket because I like to sleep with my face covered because, if you don't know, apparently when you're asleep, you eat up to eight bugs in your entire lifetime, and... No. So, um, yeah, I felt pressure, and I remember I was trying to say my sister's name so she can wake up and come and see me, um, and I remember the first time that I said her name, I actually was able to say her name. Um, after I tried to say her name again, I couldn't say it. Um, I had no energy. Every time my energy tried to go back up, it drained out of me again. Um, I have no idea how long this went on, but it felt like a really long time. Um, but it was really freaky because I tried, you know, I wasn't scared. I mean, I was scared, but I knew how it, to handle it. I was just, you know, just pray, pray. Like, you know, don't be scared. Just whatever it is or whatever you think it might be, just say, go away, you know. Um, so I tried to move and I tried to talk, but I couldn't. Uh, something wasn't letting me talk. So that one was okay. Um, and the third one that I had was the worst one I've had so far. The third one actually happened two days ago. Um, man, that one was scary. Okay, so I have not been watching anything scary. I have not been watching anything bad. Um, I've been doing really good. I've been really happy in my life so far. Um, so this one, this one just freaked me out because I was sleeping in my room and I moved into a new place. And... Um, it was really fucking hot that night. It was probably like 90 degrees. And so I'm sleeping you know, in my sports bra, in my freaking shorts. And um, my neck is exposed. My neck, I'm sleeping like this. My neck is exposed. My hand is over here because I'm really freaking hot. And all of a sudden, I feel pressure on my neck. Like, like someone lay, put their head on my neck. And I got scared because I was like, well, who the hell would do that at this time? Um, you know, I didn't open my eyes. I didn't. And that's when I felt my body become slowly become like, like what felt like a rock. Like I couldn't move, couldn't do anything. And this is, oh my God, everything's scaring me right now. Now, this is the part that freaked me the fuck out, okay? Y'all don't have to believe me. But this is what happened to me, and I will never forget what happened to me. Whatever the fuck was on me started talking to me in my ear. It started saying something in my ear, and that's when I freaked. That's when I got really scared. That's when I was like, oh my goodness, this is not normal. I've never had a sleep paralysis like this. So that's when I decided to start calling my dad's name. Um, I would get full of energy, and then when it was time for me to say my dad's name, it was like, mm, 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 mm. like, that's it. That's all that came out. So it was probably really low because my energy was drained, but I was really trying to try to move my body. So I was, my, my hand was like this. So the second time that I had a sleep paralysis, I read on the internet that the quickest way to get out of it is to move your fingertips and to wiggle your toes. So that's what I did. I started to started to try to start pinching my fingers, and when I started pinching, I actually pinched something that felt like skin. I pinched something that felt like skin, and when I pinched whatever the fuck I pinched, this man voice that was talking to me said, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Like, surprised that, I don't know. I was probably hallucinating. I don't know if that happens, but it freaked me the fuck out. So I got even more creeped out. I tried to like literally move my body. I tried to wake up. I tried, I mean, I was awake, but I tried to gain um, the my body back. I tried to like have control over my body and when that happened I guess like this thing disappeared like it poof just disappeared that when that happened I was trying to move so trying to gain control of my body back so hard that my hand went back and it came back and it hit me like 
I was trying so hard to get out of it that my hand literally went off and just hit me. I hit myself right here where the pressure was at. And I was like, ow. I laid in bed, didn't open my eyes. I laid in there and I was like, okay, do you want to continue sleeping in your own bed or did you want to go ahead and sleep next to your dad? Your, your dad, you know? So I get up, take my pillow, take my blanket, walk over. I'm just like, hey, dad. And he, he doesn't wake up. And I'm just like, hey, dad. And he's like, what, what? And I'm just like, can I sleep with you? And he's like, sure. And he's like, what, are you scared? And I was just like, you know, like I just had a sleep paralysis. Like, you know, I just said it like casually, but I was fucking freaked. I was fucking freaked. And I couldn't go back to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep. It happened at 4.30 in the morning and I had to be up at 7 and I could not go back to sleep. I was scared out of my mind and today, last night, I was actually very scared to go back to sleep so I fell asleep at 3.30 in the morning and when I went back to sleep, I slept with my earphones in so I wouldn't hear anything and I actually slept good. I slept 12 hours which catches up for what I lost last night, the other night, but those are my scary stories of sleep paralysis. Mm, let me know what stories or what has happened to you guys. I have a lot of, I have a lot more things have happened to me, but I actually have to get ready for work now. So leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh my God, it turned off. Oh my guys, I know I said I was gone, but this is fucking weird. I just made this video. And people from the, the missionary church came in and knocked on my door and like, hey, I just want to know that like you're okay and that you're happy. And I was at my window right now, so I'm whispering. But like I'm on my way to work, so I didn't have time to talk and they like, gave me a photo of Jesus Christ. That's freaking weird. <sighs> okay, that's it. Bye guys.